All right, guys, I'm back with the CFY5. I said I wasn't going to make a video on how to put it back together, but then I decided that I should make it. So for this step, we're just going to need the Q-tip, number zero screwdriver, uh, Phillips number one head screwdriver, and that'll be to uh, put back the screws on the hinges, some rubbing alcohol, and like I said, the Q-tip. So lifting this back up, got to ensure that all of our, our power buttons and everything uh, is back together right here. We have to make sure that um, that is properly aligned. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing here on the motherboard. Um, okay. Uh, we'll be working right here. We're going to be putting this um, LCD back on. You're not going to be able to see what's going on on this side of the video over there. I'm just going to be putting in the screw for one of the hinges or on one of the hinges so that the LCD stays up. Okay, now we're going to be placing the second screw. Okay, now that that's in. We're gonna re uh, we're gonna route our <coughs> our cables here. Try to keep them as close as possible as to how they were ran when we took them out. So just slide, lift up the black film, slide the one that goes over here, connect that right away. Then we have this one. Uh, this one actually runs under it, so I'm just going to feed it under the cable. And as soon as I make it over, I'm going to slide it into its connector there. Okay, now that's connected. So now, let's go ahead and connect our video cable. Alright. Um, at this point, you want to make sure that everything works. So I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to slide the power button on. And we'll see. We got video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Unplug it. And now it's safe to go ahead and continue with our assembly or reassembly of this unit. I'm going to grab some Kapton tape, place this on here so that it holds those wires down. We'll put our fan, see if I can get you guys in the shot, get the shot in here. Okay, now we get our our fan to slide right over the DC jack. All right, that sits in there like that. Grab our screw and our metal plate. Okay, pull the plate down. Once that's screwed in, um, get some more Captain tape. Kapton tape here and we'll just put it on this connector here so that this one doesn't slide out. Now we'll grab a Q-tip. Put some rubbing alcohol. Start cleaning this area up. Clean the processor. Okay. And then we'll clean, uh, you guys can't see this on camera, but I'm just wiping off the, the heat sink on the palm rest itself. And then I am wiping it dry with the dry side of my Q-tip. Okay. Now we can go ahead and apply our thermal compound. You can apply this however you want to apply it. I do it this way. Not the right way, not the wrong way. I don't care how you guys do it. 
just make sure that you put it on there. And then now we can go ahead and close this. But when we're closing, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, when we're closing the palm rest, we have to make sure that the Wi-Fi cables are not getting crimped and they're not caught anywhere. So now that that's there, I hold it down with my hand and I reconnect these plugs. Put these back into their little connectors. Okay. Reassembly of the computer is very, very quick and simple. And remember, I put my screws right how they go so I know exactly where they go. Pop the three black ones that go on the palm rest here. So the unit that I took the LCD off of, I actually took the, uh, also took the keyboard from it. Um, the other one I bent back and it actually looked all right. So just remember, be careful when you're taking that off. You don't want to bend it too much. Pop that open. Get the two screws that go on the side here. Balance this a little bit better. There we go. Um, four screws that go inside the, the DVD drive. This one's a little crazy. This one has to go in almost at an angle and then it'll catch itself and straighten out. Okay, put this Wi-Fi antenna. I start the screw and then I put the second screw in there to ensure that it's nice and straight and not all weird. Okay, so now I take this cover that we took off Pop that on there, close that DVD drive, and then adjust the cover because it's supposed to line up perfectly. Okay, so now we continue. Put the two screws that go before the Bluetooth antenna. Remember, the Bluetooth antenna's got the short and the long screw. The short screw goes right by where the gray wire for the antenna is. Be very careful with these antennas, they're fragile. Then put in the long one, and then we have to do the one on the other side. Got those two screws for it. Okay, so the same thing, I start the screws, I don't tighten them all the way. Then I do this, that one, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, making sure that our antenna wire is not crimped, not getting ruined. Let me go ahead and connect our keyboard. Start with the ribbon cable that's closest to you. Um, one, one thing you should know, it only goes into one slot. So you can't mess it up. The, uh, the ribbon cable is thick, which will go into the thicker connector. This one in the back is a pain in the butt because you have to line it up perfectly so that you can slide it in, okay? So just be patient with it. And what I do is I stand up the keyboard and there's a little slot here where the ribbon cable starts to feed into. So I feed it in there, then I push this down, set the keyboard down. Now what you can do is um, replace some of the, the double-sided tape that is missing now. So what I do is I just run... Um, Double-sided tape, this is a 3M, this is 5mm tape, you don't have to use a 5mm, and again, I don't put it all over the place, I just go right over this black area here. Put some there, right there, and they put some here, so I'll go right above that one. Okay, now that we have that, let's see. And then what you could do here is take some Captain tape, Captain tape, and just seal this area back down like that. 
just in the area where the tape is not still fresh. Okay, so now I just push this down just like that. Put our covers back on. We got the DC in. They just kind of clip back on like that. We got our one for the right side for the USBs and the modem. Okay, so now we're done with that. Now we flip, close the lid, flip this over, start off over here. I take the screws out of these, okay, and slide that in and then make sure that the, there's two little tabs. Uh, you got to make sure that those tabs go into their slots so that it's nice and, and flush. And then I use my DeWalt, pop those in. And now we just reverse the order for these screws. After that, we're done. Then I'll test it, make sure that it turns on, show you that it gets a display, and we are done. I hope the video's not too dark. I didn't turn my flash on this time around. <clears throat> so, then we put the keyboard screws back in. And what, if you put that double sided tape, what it does, it helps it uh, stay sort of flush to, to the base so that when you screw it in, you're not sitting here screwing forever because sometimes those you push the, the keyboard away, uh, the peg from the screw, so you can't get it. To start, and you have to open the. If that happens, all you gotta do is just open the computer like this. Hold the keyboard while you're screwing it. I just don't like doing that, so I do replace that double-sided tape on there. Okay, last screw. Pop on our battery. Lock it into place. Plug it in. I'll bring it down here. Okay. Turn it on. Go into the BIOS so that and there you have it. Now you've reassembled your CFY5 and you are ready to use it. And then, of course, we got to boot into Windows. Um, to keep this short, I'm going to pause it until it actually gets into Windows or gets close to it. So we'll be right back. Right, here we are. We're getting into Windows now. Test the touchpad. See, since we didn't disconnect it, we don't have to worry about it not working. Let's pop the DVD drive. DVD drive pops. So that's good. Okay, so now we just sit here and we just test to make sure that everything works. Okay, so let's test the keyboard. It's kind of important to have it working. Okay, we'll open that, and let's start, One, two, then I go down the numbers, letters, capitalize, hit the caps lock, make sure that all those keys work, make sure that the shift keys work, I hold down the shift key and swipe over, just make sure that it's capitalizing, um, and let's try the function keys, brightness down, function F2, brightness up. Um, F5 and function volume down, F6 and function volume up. Okay, so everything seems to be working. Let's mute it, see how it... Okay, so it works. Let's do Alt F4 and let's shut her down. Um, actually, I'm going to do some other stuff. I'm going to... Yeah, no, I'll just shut it down. Well, then, there you are. There's the reassembly video um, for the CFY5 after you've uh, di completely disassembled the computer. I stopped short of just uh, removing the motherboard from the case. So, thanks again for watching. Hope this helps you reassemble your computer after I showed you how to disassemble it in the other video. Uh, like, comment, any questions, put them on the uh, comment section below. 
Uh, thanks again. Have a great day.